Welcome back to Car Savant. Latest project, Honda Odyssey fog lights. And we got them in smoked. Now, one thing that we did, the fitment overall is, is pretty good. This is a full custom job. However, we took and used some OEM trim, which you can get from Honda. Here's the part number. So we used uh, some of the OEM black trim. We gotta do a little bit more tweaking on that side there, but as I'll show you uh, what, we'll, what we'll be cutting out, we're gonna be cutting basically that OEM trim piece out. Uh, we'll be mounting it and working on this light right here. You can see carefully wrapping this uh, with the OEM molding and heating it up really good with a heat gun. It should be a good look. Like I said, there's the before on the S2000. It's kind of pointless. There's no use of that area of the bumper. And here's what it will look like. Um, so that's what we're working on today. I'll uh, explain to you some more details here as we uh, as we go. But we're running the wiring back right through behind the, uh, the front uh, grill area. So... So here are the Odyssey fogs. Don't mind the lip that it's still hanging down. Here's the passenger side. I'm pretty proud of the install on both of these sides. And I'm just warning anybody that's gonna attempt this, it's not gonna be an absolutely 100% perfect fit. Now we did the uh, OEM moldings around these, which I think makes it look nicer, makes it look OEM. But uh, let me show you how we did the here's how we did the driver's side uh, I have to modify or the passenger side I need to modify the bracket uh, just a little bit but it's solidly held in place uh, it's not going to go anywhere so that uh, we, we still have to clean up the wiring and and finalize everything and then the new uh, uh, fender liners so that's the modified bracket on the passenger side now I will show you the driver's side. We did it a little bit different way as far as the bracket goes. Um, still gonna clean everything up uh, on this as well. So now I guess let's let's see how they work. So here's the parking lights. Nice. Oh, there they are. Got the stock halogens in them. And we'll be doing some more uh, details on how we're going to do the switch on the inside uh, for the cleanest possible install. But uh, what do you guys think? Post a comment. Let us know your opinion on this. I think it cleans up the front end. It's subtle. Uh, nice improvement, I think, over the just the blank black spots that were on there in the bumper. So I think overall it's going to make the car even look cleaner. Uh, and better. So more details to come on this. So we're wrapping up the install of these fog lights. Uh, I think they've turned out very well. So here's the driver's side with the new fender liner all set to go. There's the passenger side. got that all set to go as well. You want to do a brief explanation, Steph, as to how we wired this kit? So the kit came with a little diagram and its own wire harness. So basically we just tap the power in from the main fuse block and then we wired the relay over here and then continued to wrap the wire harness to each fog light and then the switch went in through the driver's side door and then we have the switch um, powered in from the inside and then uh, we'll, we'll finalize the mounting of that but it's, it's kind of just dangling in there for now but um, it was a plug and play kit so it was pretty easy yeah I think what I'd like to do is um, the center console maybe maybe modifying one of those buttons to really make it a really clean install. Post up in the comment section if you know of a button that will work uh, for what we're talking about. Let me show the viewers 
what we're referring to. Here's the here's the fog light switch that came with them. Um, it's a little bit too long this way. Here's what we're thinking. So for the hardtop, we have the defrost there. We have a blank switch right here. Uh, I would love to modify that into a new fog light switch. So that's one thing we still have to figure out um, as we as we move forward. But hopefully we'll be able to get this thing down and then perhaps do some other uh, some other projects on this. So thank you for watching. Uh, we appreciate it and uh, have some great update videos to come. Please uh, please like and subscribe and leave a comment uh, if you'd like. Thanks and take care.